Hi, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel if you are new or returning. In this video, we're going to look at prepositions in English. They can be a bit tricky to master. And this video was requested by a student of mine, so this is also for you. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and you can leave a comment too. And let's dive into the lesson. So we usually use prepositions to talk about time and place and also directions. They are a small part of um, English grammar. So if you don't always get them right, don't worry too much about it because it's not a major mistake to make. Unfortunately, there isn't a specific formula for prepositions. So the best way to learn them is to learn them in the phrase itself or in the sentence itself. So let's look at some basic prepositions that we use. We use at to talk about time. For example, at three o'clock, at night. I have a dentist appointment this morning at 10 o'clock. I'm at the beach. What are you doing at the weekend? We can actually also say, what are you doing on the weekend? Or what are you doing over the weekend? So sometimes you can use other prepositions and it's still okay. And then we have on. On is often used to talk about days. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, or with a specific date on the 1st of January and we can use it to say if we are physically getting on something. She's getting on the train. I'm on the plane now waiting to take off. My brother's wedding will be on the 1st of August. Let's go out on Saturday night. The clinic is on London Road. The clock is on the wall. And then we have in. In can refer to a longer period of time or if a certain date isn't mentioned. You could say, we're going to Spain in June, but we wouldn't say we're going to Spain in June the 11th. We would use in if we're not mentioning a specific day or time. So we're going to Spain in June. If you wanted to mention a specific date, you would say, we're going to Spain on June the 11th. In can be to get in something, get in the car, please. But note that we say getting on the train or on, on the bus, on the plane. So it's very irregular. But we would say, please get in the car. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. But at night. The museum is in the city centre. Then we can look at over. To go over is to physically go over something. To get to the park you need to go over the bridge. And then we have some dependent prepositions. And these are connectors between a word and what may follow after it or before it. So, for example, good at, rely on, believe in. These are dependent prepositions. I'm not interested in football. The criminal confessed to committing the crime. I'm not good at maths. They don't believe in ghosts. You can always rely on him. Okay. And that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.